Hello, and welcome to Boost Nest, and I'll play some uh, Forza Horizon 3. Today I'm, well, unlocking the barn find for, um, in the latest for uh, Forza-thon. Actually, I should have started outside the carriage. Um, yes, that is a uh, Forza-thon currently two days ago, I guess, when this goes up, uh, if I upload it on time. Uh, at the bottom, there's a uh, rumour. Uh, you can get a rumour for uh, winning a race in a Porsche, so I figured I'd make a video of me building a Porsche. Um, I bought this on the auction house, the, um, I forget what generation it is now, um, is it, it's like G-Body or something, I think. I think that's the right, that's the right model. It's the one before the 964, anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build this up, but, you know, I could be sensible, actually I should have, I should have stayed outside, in there mind, I'll show you the race, um, afterwards, but yeah, um, I could be sensible, build, like, a proper circuit car, fix the, uh, oversteer issues that the, uh, Porsche has, or I could build a rally car, yeah, I'm building a rally car, so, um, yeah, I bought this on the auction house, did I say that? Probably, uh, for two million, and, uh, that's why I'm so poor at the moment. Uh, let's put some, uh... Where are the, uh, futches? That's why they were here. I've probably gone past them. They're probably right at the beginning, weren't they? No. No. I've probably passed them, like, they're not in this section, are they? They're in, uh, multi-piece wheels, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, there they are. Um, yeah, I'll paint those after or something. Um, oh, the inches, yeah, to rally out 16 inches, well, yeah, I guess this would have been, uh, in, uh, early 80s. So I can get a bigger, a, a 3.6 litre flat 6, um, not sure what that is. Oh my god, this car's got a lot of turbo lag. Yeah, and it's ending on a single turbo on the flat six. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna keep it like that because this isn't a sensible car build. Why would I remove turbo lag and such? Um Rally suspension, bit more turning angle. Not sure whether that's ideal actually with this car. Um uh, what class should I build this up to? S one I guess? Sure, I'll build it to maybe like halfway up S class, and then once I start getting scared of the power, um, and then I'll uh, I'll stop building. Basically, I'll just see how much power I'm willing to put in. Probably go for something like 400, and we'll stop there. Uh, I want to upgrade the turbo because more lag. Ah. Same amount of lag, that's boring. Um, yeah, I don't want 500 horsepower in this. Um, how much should I have? The, um, no, I'm not going to bother upgrading the turbo then if it doesn't increase lag. Um, uh, 400... Can I get it round to 420? At 18 horsepower. Something at 18 horsepower, come on. That's about as close as I'm getting. Um, yeah, maybe the intercooler or something would have added, uh, no, 419. Oh, well, um, yeah, let's go up to, uh, 850. Um, nope, wrong one. Come on. There, we'll go up to, uh, yeah, 850 PI. And, oh yeah, I forgot visual. This car has body kits. Uh, Odd looking body kits. You can make you can do a nine six four conversion on it, which I'm not too keen about on this. Um, I'm sure it does look a bit nicer uh, clearing up the uh, plastic safety bumpers and stuff, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to go with that just because of how silly it is. It's not particularly rally car like though. I'm just going to keep it stock. No spoiler. Do I want to? No, I thought 
I don't know, I think I'm just going to be boring. I'll do... No, I'll just keep it stock. Um, I know there's visual modifications, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Right, then I'll paint it a bit to make it look slightly presentable. Those wheeled standard don't exactly look pretty. Um, and I'll just slap on a uh, quick tune. Uh, wheels. Um, I'm thinking of going for like brass or something. I want it to. Uh, that looks kind of nice. I wish that you had more control over the camera. I do. Yeah, the steel brush looks good. Uh, wait, no. Body color. Do I go? All right, that resets the wheel color. Um. Yeah, do I want to? I'll go with. I know I'm being so indecisive about colors. Um. Actually, that with the steel wheels will look nice. Alright, cool. Saved it. Glad I uh, accidentally overclicked then. Uh, anyway, yeah. It's six minutes into the video. No driving. Just me tuning. A bit different from uh, really very silly curls then. Um, Alright, I'm hoping I don't need to cut around with the video. But, um... Just in case, I'm going to... No, I'll do a tune first. And then I'll uh, cut to the beginning of the race. So, uh... Yeah, right. I want to... Actually, I should probably bring in the top end, not the, uh... Not the final drive. Uh, yeah, if I do this... I want to shorten that a bit. Lengthen that, um... Yeah, how fast am I going there? I wish the graph was a bit more precise, because... Right, that's so... We're hitting about 95 in third. Um, or changing up just before 95, about 90 miles an hour, probably. Yeah, I wish the graph was a bit more precise. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Let's hope for the best. So, we'll get a new barn find rumour. There's that. That doesn't look like a Porsche, Porsche, which I'm pretty sure is what you get. Is that just a default picture? I assume it is. Um, I probably should tune the suspension a bit. Um, I'll take a quick look at it. If it looks like it's going to kill me with snap oversteer, then... Yeah, it will. Uh, I'm gonna... Actually, I probably should have softened the rear. Alright, so, uh, uh, all my tuning knowledge is coming from automation here. Why is the front so soft? That's the last thing you want to do. You want to make the front hard for understeer. Um, yeah, if anything, I should probably only soften it. Um, that'll probably be a bit too bouncy. Right, now that I've completely ruined the handling of this car, I'm going to lock the diff just so I have a bit more grip. Um, Alright, will it do burnout? Yes. Uh, I'm going to turn down my TV. Um, okay, so I'll cut to the actual race and see you there. Right then, here we are. Um, I've just I've done a tiny bit more tuning, lowered the rear tire pressure. Uh, shorten the top end slightly so we only do 160 um, and yeah, I think I messed around with uh, something else in suspension probably uh, the difficulty I'm using everything on max um, except for uh, damage and rewind which uh, I've got set to none and turned on it just makes it slightly easier I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes so let's just get on with this still probably a lot more takes though Right, um, immediately, um, there's a Porsche 959, which is going to be a 2. Okay, so, I was about to say this isn't too bad, but, um, 
yeah, to be fair, I was sort of forced on the outside. Um, I'm going to say that wasn't my fault. Um, oh, God. Um, this isn't too bad, to be honest. Yeah, I reckon I can win with this. It's got brutal acceleration. It doesn't feel like it, like it does, but it, you know, crashed again. I'm amazing in this car. Yeah, good thing we had a rewind. Um, yeah, and damage turned off. Otherwise, we'd have a very broken car at this point. All right, this hairpin. Yeah, I'm getting pushed to the outside. All-wheel drive maybe would have been a good idea. Yeah, but. It's fine. Oh, yeah, maybe using a Porsche 959 would have been a smarter idea. Uh, um, come on. Who would have thought a, lo a Lotus? Um, I've gone the name of it now. Um, Esprit. Esprit is that? Yeah. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. But there's, I don't think so. Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, I did hit that checkpoint. Good. Seem to be much faster into braking zones. So that's good. And there we go, I'm around and through. Yeah, there's there's no point staying on the actual road here. Um it's a rally race, take any route possible. Right. The real issue is am I going to be far enough ahead when we get to the tarmac? Yeah, I think so. Um oh. Ooh, careful. Yeah, this suspension isn't great for off-roading. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to mess around with the dampening and stuff if I want to keep this as a rally car. And uh, maybe even mess around with some tow and camber. Getting a nice skill chain going, though. I'm about to lose it now that I've said that, but you know. Oh. Oh, no. Here comes the tarmac, and the Lotus is right there. Oh no, there's a Countach. Hmm. And across the line. Um, I'm surprised how long I kept the skill chain for. I was driving pretty well there. Um, yeah, um, the, uh, the 959 surprisingly came pretty well. Hold on, the only all-wheel drive car in this race, or all-wheel drive standard, is it came second to last. And sixth. Yeah, I. It, odd. Okay. I feel like. Considering the 959 were actual rally cars as well. Um. Yeah. It was pretty easy. Um. Boss, I was riding the big wheel the legendary barn find rumor. Okay, where do we think it's gonna be? I'm gonna see if I can figure out. Hmm. I'm gonna guess it's somewhere around by there. I don't know. I think it's just gonna be in the middle of the desert or out back, whatever. Um. Ah, loading times. Wonderful. Um. I don't know. I could fly around it with drone mode or something, but um, yeah, I don't think that really. I don't think I really need to. It's pretty wide open here. You can probably see it if I just park on one of these hills. Um, yeah, or I would, or I could do if you know there weren't any buildings. Oh, isn't that it over there? It may be. Huh. Yeah, I think I just found it. Is that it? No. I've forgotten what the barns look like. That's I'm just not going. No, because the cutscene would have triggered by now. Um.
here we go. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, hello. It's gonna need more than a spit and polish, but I'm excited to work on this one. So what's that? Five six five speedster? Three six three five six. Yeah, five six five. Don't know where I got that from. Yeah. Three six five. That kind of makes sense. I've already forgotten what it was called. Three three five six. Was it or three six five? I can't remember. Look. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna wait for it to be done, and I'll uh, come back to you when it is. Probably, you know, have to cut, and uh, yeah, I'll take a look at it. Hello, right? Um, don't know why I started like that. Um, it's midway through the video for you. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting around for sort of like five minutes, taking photos and stuff. That's why I'm over here with the Porsche, and uh, let's just go and check out our newest edition quickly, the uh, 365 Speedster, 365A Speedster, something like that. Um, yeah, um, long loading screens, yeah, not really that long, uh, barn finds. It's gonna be right over here, yeah, it does just change the uh, way the car looks, interesting. Ready to take it out for a spin? Hmm. Slightly odd looking. It's tiny though. Honestly, I think I could have some fun with this. Um, we're going to check out the engine swaps and stuff. Um. All right, yeah, it goes alphabetical order. Um. All right, we'll get in this. Check out some of the engine swaps and stuff. See if there's anything ridiculous we can do. And uh, then. Yeah, I'm not going to actually do anything silly, but yeah. Yeah, turbo rally. To be fair, that would be crazy. Is it mid-engine? It's mid-engine, this. Not, uh... Wait, no, it, it is uh, rear-engine, yeah. I was reading the uh, picture thing wrong. Uh, and I assume... Oh, no. It does have kits. Okay, that's odd. You can turn it into a warthog. Apparently, that's okay. I think it looks better with the chrome bumpers. You can put a box on the back of it. Or a little wing. Uh, I assume it's more warthog tow hooks. You can get straps at That's kind of cool. You can make it like a proper classic race car. Um, I'll drive it a, uh, a tiny bit. See what it's like. Um, slow. And I'll just I'll drive it onto the road and see how it handles. How much horsepower does it have? Roughly, yeah, not a lot. Um, that's a bit. No, oh. <laughs> yep, the old rear-engined car. It's not going to handle well. Yeah, I think it just needs a bit of a kick to it. Um. Could be fun to drive thing, yeah. I mean, the uh, 911 I drove went pretty well. I'd imagine you can make a pretty good rally car out of this. Uh, to be honest. Even though it is more of a cruiser than anything else. And to think that this was a sports car at the time. Like, uh, yeah, this is, this is painfully slow. What's the 0 to 60 quickly before we go? Uh, no, not that. Tune... 13 seconds, 13.3. So, on that rather slow note, um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until the next video, goodbye.